Yes, my name is Emil van Danzig, I'm from the Netherlands and I uh, did teach this week, last past week, uh, about sociocracy and a colleague of mine, Christoph, Christian Ruter, uh, did teach about uh, non-violent communication. Sociocracy is, um, in contrary to democracy, a way of making decisions, in fact, it is a way to uh, bring people together uh, in order that they use their uh, precious energy not for fighting each other and win of the other during battles or for, for votings, but for creative energy and come to solutions when somebody has struggled to agree with uh, a, a proposition. When you make decisions, it's uh, most of the time for policies rather than executive matter. And when uh, somebody uh, proposes uh, a policy, it's possible to uh, withheld your consent, as it's known, uh, based on uh, uh, paramount objections. And then you have to tell what your paramount objections are. Next step in the process of sociocracy is that you try, uh, as, as a circle, as a group or a team, uh, to find solutions that the objections, the paramount objections, will be uh, taken, taken away. And that's the way creati creat creativity can uh, exist. So that's in basic, uh, there are many more rules and, and uh, it's, it's an empty framework everybody can use and fill in to his or her own, own purpose. The structure is, is in fact uh, uh, enabling that somebody uh, will be a delegate, a chosen delegate elected by its own team to attend a higher circle. Uh, this means that the higher circle will also have an, uh, a delegate, a an elected delegate, that uh, the same person could come into another higher circle as being also the delegate for the next higher circle where he has been elected. So that makes it possible that people from working from the ground floor can come to the board, in fact. Uh, of, of course, depending on their uh, skills and, and competences and the way they can uh, be a delegate for each circle, but it's a possibility and it happens. When we, the people, as the book uh, written by John Buck in the United States about sociocracy, when we, the people, are using and really applying sociocracy in everywhere, in our neighborhood, in our family, for ourselves, in the government, all over the places, then I'm pretty sure that this will include peace because we are using energy only to, to work together, to cooperate and not to fight. The Netherlands was in fact the first place where it has been developed by Gerard Endenburg. There are quite a lot of places and schools and, and many organizations in care, in, uh, as I told, in, in, in university schools, uh, also companies, ICT companies and uh, development companies for um, uh, communication. And well, in the United States, in Canada, in uh, uh, France, in Germany, uh, there are now uh, centers being formed to bring it out to more, even broader public. And I think time is there that um, when we look at democracy, in fact, democracy is in many places autocracy, but hidden by uh, tricks. The basic website is in the Netherlands, it's called sociocracy 
with a T I E at the end. Dot nl, but there is also sociocracy dot biz for international uh, centers, and they are connected, of course. And on those sites, you will find a listing of places where centers are, like in Australia, Canada, United States, Germany. Also, in uh, here in uh, Austria, we will start a center soon. So, hopefully, uh, this will help us also to uh, to be here more often at EPU to teach students about the possibilities they can later on really practice. It was amazing, it's uh, such an experience to be here with so many people all over the world and so many cultures and I hope um, that there will be more opportunities to, to do this.